sexual uh, discrimination the women are uh, subdued male are superior and women are inferior so these uh, if we want to uh, uh, eradicate this inequality women depression women subordination women exploitation so gender development uh, should be there and the society needs to be the social construction which is there it needs to be challenged to that and um, another one uh, process called uh, environment and development uh, they say that women are always with the environment they are the manager of the environment they stay at home they do the agriculture they take care of the children uh, they, they, they care of the family so here, uh, this women nowadays, this economic economic uh, determination, globalization, this uh, um, free trade economy, uh, free market economy, capitalism actually put women away from their the the, the, the environment, uh, the, this capitalistic uh, society, the capitalism destroy this modern uh, this modern. Um, this mechanism, technology, and the corporation uh, destroy this, um, this environmental and affects environmentalism. So that's why we say that if we want to develop uh, our women, we should uh, give preference women in environmental development. So this is one of the things that another approach, CAD, for culture and development, they said that it's in, 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 in certain geographical area, a society has its own culture, world, um, traditions, religion, beliefs, practices. So, so and women are, 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 are very, uh, very uh, good and they are familiar and they are, uh, uh, say, they are, uh, they, they, they are within the culture. So, uh, if we want to develop women and uh, this is uh, the, the matrimonial society culture where women are empowered. So the, the, the culture which is uh, the exists in the traditional culture where women have the power, women have, are the head of the family, they run the family, they take the decision, the senior uh, women are uh, respectable in the society, in their family, in the community, in the society. But nowadays, the society shift from this, this, this uh, uh, collectivity, 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 uh, culture, uh, culturalism to the individualistic and single, uh, um, uh, single-minded individual development, so which actually hampers human development. So they say that if you want to, to, to uh, to develop, we should uh, we should follow the local culture, local living, uh, livelihoods of the people, and where women have the respect, women have the um, value, women have the rights, women have the power in the society, in the family. So, so this I would like to say that these Western feminism strategies uh, are there, um, uh, but. Uh, but I can say that uh, uh, Western feminism strategies, uh, they have specific one uh, strategies called consciousness raising and through uh, storytelling among women. So that is there. Eh? And especially uh, their, 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 their attention focus on violence against women, violence suffering, and mainly focus on this, this man thing, the patriarchy. It's all the, this, uh, these women suffering huh, are because of uh, uh, women shivanism, uh, patriarchal uh, um, exploitation, male domination. So in such situation, so they say that the but one thing that they do not emphasize the feminization of poverty. Nowadays it is very very important uh, because this consciousness raising feminism that strategy developed in 19. 50s, 60s, 70s, but now we are in uh, 21st century and the world rapidly changing uh, and women are suffering more. So in this situation we have to uh, uh, develop some strategies which are um, contemporarily suited uh, and address the uh, problems which are not suffering. So, um, and uh, 
they have not talks about uh, uh, that related to other suffering, say social suffering, environmental suffering, uh, social suffering, uh, cultural suffering. So, and uh, that is the, the, the identified who practices studies this, they talk in this uh, consciousness raising theory, consciousness, but yes, it, it is already uh, in the North Africa uh, success, but now the, the uh, another type of uh, discrimination, another type of exploitation, subordinations are uh, uh, coming uh, in, the, in the human life. So now we a specific um, program studies this policies for the women for, 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 for to, to free them from these sufferings. Uh, I would like to say that especially for marginalized women, those are 67 percent of the of people in the world, they are suffering um, uh, from male domination and uh, in terms of economics, wealth, in terms of uh, social development, in terms of uh, civic capital development, economic development, environmental development. So that means some uh, some some sort of program, some strategy that can address these women, these poor people uh, uh, from human rights development. So I am now going to discuss one example of Premier Bank Bangladesh group based microfinancing program. Uh, this is, uh, I can say, it is uh, one uh, alternative practice example in Bangladesh that address the marginal, the, that work with the marginal uh, women to, to, to free them from feminization of power, which is the, which is the most important uh, uh, problem, uh, uh, suffering issues in Bangladesh. It is not an issue in Bangladesh, I think it is an issue all over the world, the poor people are suffering of feminization of poverty. So this is one, that's why it developed a, a, a economic program, but it has also a, another program, a socio-economic, uh, I can say the uh, cultural program involved uh, in the system called Grameen Bank 16 Decisions. These Grameen Bank 16 Decisions included uh, women, uh, uh, social, economic, cultural, environmental, familial, community, public and private space development issues. And uh, small and medium enterprise programs in the world are programs initiated to combat the feminization of poverty and basic women human rights. So, micro programs and Small and medium enterprise programs contribute to disadvantage women's empowerment in Bangladesh. Uh, this, uh, this, this program actually also contribute awareness, uh, consciousness, concerns women about their uh, various familial, community, and national level issues, the personal life issues they are discussing. You know, the uh, Grameen Bank uh, weekly meeting they sit together. Uh, the all women in the neighborhood, they come together in the morning, they sit together and they, they, they repay their money as well as they also discuss, share with each other their business performance, what business failure, what happened in the family, what about their children's education, what about their house, what about their culture, what about happened in the civic, uh, what about the, what happened in the society. So these are the things they are uh, discuss and share with each other. and. Or sometimes they also take decisions collectively in the society, and also other people, also other members in the uh, center discuss, uh, um, suggest her how she uh, has, uh, um, she, 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 uh, she, she, she manages to solve her own problem in the family that is similar to other members. So she shared her experience with the uh, uh, other uh, member and they can take the advantage from there. So because they, uh, uh, you know, through this process, these uh, this women are become economic actors, community actors, social and civic actors in the family and in the community.